Hello, my old school soul food family. Chef Jeff is back with another video. All right, y'all, it's time for Sunday dinner recipe ideal favorite segment, however I put it here. I'm finna make something, y'all. It's still a little cold, a little, a little chilly out. So I'm gonna make one more soup. Probably be the last one I make for a while because it's about to start getting in springtime. I might stick another one in there. But I'm gonna show you one here that's very, very simple. It's my hamburger ground beef soup. Very simple. Very simple ingredients. Put it together in the pot, let it simmer. Yummy, yummy, yummy with cornbread. I eat mine with rich cracker. Now this is gonna be a soup, not a stew, meaning it's gonna be more brothy and more liquidy than uh, a normal uh, soup here. So I'm gonna step off, I'm gonna dice up my potatoes, get my okra sliced up, ground meat. Y'all know I use uh, I use venison here. And my venison uh, ground meat there. And uh, yeah, so anyway, y'all, we'll be right back once we get everything prepped up. Old school hamburger soup. We'll be right back. All right, y'all, we are back here. <clears throat> okay, I got everything set up here. I got my pot heating up over here. Let me turn it down a little. I got, I'm gonna put ground meat in here, of course, hamburger meat. Uh, that's uh, hamburger soup, so you need hamburger meat. I got some fresh sliced okra I was telling y'all I'm going to put in there at the end. I got some potatoes, which is Yukon Gold potatoes. Some frozen mixed vegetables. I'm going to add a little pasta in there, too. Some tomato products. So it's going to be a lot of stuff in here, and it's very simple. So let's get them uh, cooking here, y'all. Move y'all over here. And y'all can see what I'm doing here. First thing I'm going to do, I'm going to ground my meat off in here. I'm doing a big batch, y'all. This is like two pounds of ground meat. I'm doing a big pot of soup, y'all. So, I kind of double the recipe that I'm giving y'all. You know me. When I make, when I cook, I cook a lot. Because I always share. It ain't just for me. People say, what do you do with all this? I give it away. But this here, I'm actually going to cool, cool it down. I'm going to package it in little packages. And, and, and put it in my food saver. And that's how I'm going to give it, share it like that. I'm going to freeze it. And anybody wants some soup, they can get some soup. So what I'm going to do, y'all, I'm going to step off here. Matter of fact, I need to dice up an onion. I forgot my onion. I'm going to step off here, let this brown up, and I'll be right back. All right, y'all, we are back. Got the ground meat here grind, grinding here. Now I'm going to add my onions to this. I almost forgot the most important thing, the onions, y'all. Can't have soup without onions, right? Now, y'all know you can add celery to this also. You know, I'm not a big celery fan, so I don't keep a lot of celery in my house. But I don't like the taste of celery. The only time I really use celery is in, I'll make dumplings, and then I'll make cornbread dressing. That's pretty much the only time I actually eat celery, use celery. Okay, now we're going to add some garlic to this. Good flavors, y'all. Now, I'm just season this here. With my cavenders. Cavenders here. Y'all know I love my cavenders. I'm gonna put a little salt and pepper in here. Not much. Because I'm gonna put some beef base in here later. I'm at least gonna put a little salt and pepper. If I have to add more later, I will. So get this cooking up. This is so simple, y'all. All you're really doing is putting it in a pot and boiling it. Till the potatoes get ready in the pasta so I got all that cooked up now next thing i'm gonna do i'm gonna get my potato products i mean my tomato products added in there let me move this out the way like i say y'all nothing like a big old pot of hamburger soup there on a chilly night with some crackers or some. All right, y'all. All that juice up in there. It's most time I would drain this, but you know venison is very lean, and I definitely want this liquid. It's not even grease. It's just it's just flavor, y'all. It's all flavor up in there. Look at that. And eventually it's gonna cook down. Unlike ground regular ground meat, you know, just simmer in there in the oil. Okay. Now, we're going to pour the to diced tomatoes in here. A lot of tomatoes I'm putting in here, y'all. Get that all covered up. Now, I'm going to put some tomato sauce in there. 
But it's definitely gonna be a reddish soup, y'all. Reddish type soup here. Okay. Add tomato sauce to this. And y'all know I'm gonna put some water in here to wash around in here. Alrighty. Get this stirred up in here. See how it's looking good already, huh? Looking good already, y'all. Now, now we're gonna put some water in here and some beef base. To give it that beef flavor, y'all. I know I use my wet beef base there. Put that in there. Add me some more water. We're gonna add some Worcestershire sauce to this, aka American soy sauce. Put that in there, stir this up in here. Oh, yeah, make sure I get that beef base really incorporated up in there, y'all. There it is, right there. That's gonna be nothing but flavor, y'all. Nothing but flavor there. And I might add some tomato paste to this. I don't know yet. If I do it, it'll be right at the end because I don't want it too thick. Now, now what I'm going to do, I'm going to add my potatoes to this. I want the potatoes to pretty much cook here a while before I add everything else. I'm going to add my potatoes to this. Let's see, y'all. This is going to be a hearty, hearty, hearty soup, y'all. Get them all in there. Okay, that's going to cook down a lot, y'all. So I'm going to let this simmer by 15, 20 minutes. And in fact, I'm going to put my okra in here, too. Because this okra here is raw. So I'm going to go and add it in there. This is completely fresh okra. If it was frozen or already blanched or whatever, I wouldn't add it quick. But this is raw okra. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to let this simmer. Simmer a little bit. About 15, 20 minutes, we're going to come back. We gotta add our vegetables and our pasta to this. We got two more things to add to this. So we'll cover this up, let it simmer, and we'll be right back. All right, y'all, we are back here. All right, y'all. It's been cooking about 15 minutes. Now I'm gonna add a little pasta to this. You don't have to add pasta, that's definitely optional. But we're gonna add a little pasta to this here. We got a little pending pasta. See this? I'm gonna add that to that and let that cook. And last thing I'm going to add is my vegetables. So we're going to let that pasta cook. It's going to take about 15 more minutes. That gives the potatoes are almost ready. The okra's almost ready. And that gives that all time to kind of come together. And like I say, y'all, this is going to be a very liquidy, liquidy soup. But it's going to be awesome with some cornbread or some crackers. Can't get no better. This is not a stew. A stew would be a lot thicker than this. You see how loose this is? I'm telling you. And that okra just brings it over the top. That's something I kind of added in the last few years. Fresh okra when I can get it. I just happened to find some fresh okra. And I add that to it and it just takes it over the top. So I'm going to add, last thing I got to add is my frozen vegetables. But that's no big deal because they already cooked. So we're going to let this cook by 15 minutes until the pasta can get ready. We'll come back. Add the vegetables to this. And this old school, uh, Hamburger soup. Be ready. We'll be right back. All right, y'all. We back. All right, y'all. I had to change pots here to make sure everything fits. I forgot I doubled the recipe. Usually I would do it in my little blue cast uh, 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 Dutch oven, but uh, I changed pots over. So you see the pasta is ready. The potatoes is ready. Now all I'm going to do now is add my vegetables to this. My corn, my carrots green beans and uh, English peas and stir them in there I'm gonna let this simmer about 10 more minutes for everything come back up to temperature and y'all look at this soup y'all I'm telling you this will warm your insides up nice bowl of this you got the okra in there the potato you got pasta you got every food group in there you got starch protein and your vegetables all in one one pot look at that can't go wrong with that Nice colors, everything. Only thing, like I said, I didn't put in there is celery. You can add celery, and you can add or subtract anything you want. Just make it your own, y'all. 
whatever vegetables you want to add, put it in there. So I'm going to let this simmer by 10 more minutes. Let it come up to temperature. We're going to come back and get us a big bowl of hamburger ground beef soup. We'll be right back. All right, y'all. Let's check this out. All right. This thing, everything is ready here. I'm going to turn this off. Pasta is ready. Potatoes is ready. Turn this off here. I'm going to step off. You know I got to do that world famous YouTube thumbnail. Man, this is good. I got some rich crack. I got some cornbread in the in the freezer i already cooked you know i do a lot i do about two pans of cornbread at a time then i let it cool down of course and then i cut it and, and i put it in my food saver bag and then i freeze cornbread so anytime i want cornbread i have it so anyway y'all i'm gonna step off give me some rich crackers i love my rich crackers y'all or you can get some club crackers we'll step off here do this world famous youtube thumbnail and we're going to come back and eat us some good old hamburger soup, y'all. So y'all sit tight. We'll be right back. Sunday, Sunday dinner recipe segment. Almost finished. Okay, y'all, we are back. Y'all excuse them Ritz crackers. I got to have me some Ritz crackers with my soup. But look at that, y'all. Now, that's a meal for Sunday. Out the church, have that already cooked. Do it the night before and let it sit overnight. It's even better. Once it sit there overnight, 24 hours, and the flavors marry together, it's absolutely amazing. And I did add more salt and pepper at the end and some black pepper at the end, y'all, to make this flavor come right up. Okay, let's try this out, y'all. Little rich crackers there. Mm. Mm. Hot. Woo. Let me go a good spoon. Show y'all. Oh, y'all. Yeah, look at that. Look at that bite there. Oh, mm, y'all. You see that steaming hot coming off of that. Mmm. 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 That's hot. Just that cracker in there. Mmm. Mm. Oh, wow. Mmm. Well, definitely cure what else you want it. Mm -hmm. I'll definitely cure whatever ails you. Mm -hmm. Like I say, add everything in here you need. I got the starch, vegetable, protein, everything. This is excruciating hot, y'all. One more bite here. Mm. All right. I like to dip my crack in the soup. Don't judge me. Yeah. Mm. I know I got some hot sauce here. Go with it too. But anyway, y'all, let me close this video out. Old school Sunday dinner recipe favor is in the book. Before I close the video, I've been promoting this all week. <clears throat> Tomorrow, Monday, when you get this video, <clears throat> excuse me, it's going to be Sunday. Tomorrow is Monday. The last day of February is the last day of Black History Month. I got a video coming out. It's going to be long and intense. I'm going to hit on a lot of subjects, a lot of things. People is not going to get not offended, but just going to kind of shake them up a little because I'm not going to hold nothing back because... Sometimes you got to speak things that's tough to help others. Because it was done to me all throughout my years to help me get to where I am in life, where I consider myself pretty much success, and I haven't even achieved what God has in plan for me. I'm still striving. I'm going to get better because I'm taking the advice that was given to me from my parents, from mentors growing up, um, and I listened. Some of it was tough love, some of it was tough to hear, but I listened. And I got a video starting with who I am, actually, the type of person I am. People say, you shouldn't share it. I share my personal life to a point, but I share it because it might help somebody else out there going through situations that I'm going through or went through situations that I went through, and they think they're alone. A lot of people sit in a, is in a shell because nobody talks, nobody reveals. 
Nobody, so they think they're alone in certain situations. That's why the suicide, why the suicide rate, suicide rate is so high. Because people think they have no way out. They have nobody to talk to and they're afraid because with social media and stuff like that, people make fun of people when they do speak out and things like that. And I'm going to tell you, I went through a lot of that myself. So I'm going to have the journey how that is. History of old school soul food, why I named it old school soul food, where it started, all the way up to YouTube here, Pinterest, all these websites, how I was able to retire. And when I was going to retire at 50, which I could have retired at 50 easily. And I'm going to tell you why I didn't and why I waited three more years to do it. I'm going to explain to that you why that. And just little things how you can become success and not have to be reliant I'm very adamant about this. I hate when people have to sit around and the first thing I'm on waiting on their social security check. I, I just really, it's just sad. And that means the government, I know, believe me, I'm going to take my social security check too at the first thing I'm on because it's old to me. But I'm not going to be relying on it, waiting on it, relying on it because that's all I have to survive on. I just, there's certain ways you can do years before until you get to that point where you ain't got to do that. So I'm going to touch on that too. Like I said, there's going to be a lot of stuff here Tough things people don't want to hear, but you need to hear. It might help someone. If it can just help one person to just just amazing and just turn their life around and, and be very successful, I made a difference. So anyway, y'all, just want to touch on that. So watch the video coming up tomorrow. So anyway, let me close this video. Right. If you like this video, please share, please comment, please subscribe. Please follow my other social media accounts, Facebook, YouTube, Instagram, Twitter, Twist TV, Pinterest, and OldSchoolSoulFood.com. Remember the hashtag 2022, helping others with a purpose. Old School Soul Food. Until next time, have a blessed Old School Soul Food Day. And I will see y'all in the next video. Y'all have a blessed Sunday. Stay prayed up and stay safe. Love y'all. Bye.